Hello everyone and welcome back to the Tools Mod for Matrix Hub. Today, in this video, we will do an overview about the render, the animation and the tag report. So these are three different things that all come together when it's time to finish the design. So we thought that would be good to put them all together. So let's go and start with the render. I will click on Render Studio and I will start applying materials to my geometry. So as you can see, we have the geometry in two different layers. This is just in case that we want to apply different colors or different metals for each part. So I will do it with the right click from my mouse on this one I will apply the white gold I can do it either with a right click by material or also from the green button at the very top and on the ring I will apply a yellow gold we can always go to the render tab so we can see it and now to the gems on this one I will apply a diamond and to the accent ones that will be those I will apply this all right, once we are ready, the only thing that we need to do is just to set up the general style. This will affect the lights, the reflections, everything to give different looks. So now I have the Matrix Classic. If I go with the Matrix Classic, what I will get is this. As you can see, I have the NVIDIA Denoiser activated. This is good because what it does, it merge pixels, so we remove noise even though we have few passes. So it's always good to keep it. And then you can play with the pause effect. So you can go and select the gamma if you want it lighter. If you don't want it that lighter, you can go like this and also you can play with it from here so you can see we have a lot of options for the finish of the result all right so once we have applied the matrix classic we can change to another one and we can go just say to the midnight the one that we had just below and as you can see everything changes if i go to the environment on the third tab and i click on hdr map you can see that here we have on the lighting we have the midnight light and in the reflection also we have the same style of course and now if i shoot the render i will get another result all right now that we have applied all these materials to my geometry and we present this to our customer something else that we can do just to do the quote we know that this is very important is just go to the tools and from the tools we can go to the tech report in the tech report i get a weight for the metal that we have applied to our design and also the size and the carrots for the gems that we have applied in this design so this is also very very important when we need to cool Something that I would like also to mention is that, as you can see here, let me go back to the Matrix Classic. As you can see here, we have the rungs that are getting inside the gem, and also the gem is, you see this area, is touching the metal, so it's intersecting. In the last versions, we come out with new materials that are the render metals and the render gems that allows the gems just getting the renders by itself. So even there is an intersection, this metal won't make any change to the gem. Now you will see the difference. So I will apply the Diamond Studio. And just to show you the difference, I will apply on these ones the Diamond Classic. On the green, I will apply on this one the Rose Gold. And as you can see, those ones we show them in rose, so we know that we have applied them. And now the white area, I will apply again the white. Cool. So let's see what result do we get now. Just keep in mind that if we would have this with the materials that we were using before, the diamonds would look more bluish because the metal was inside the gem. So now, as you can see, we get a lot more of color on the diamonds and everywhere. Even the metal is inside the gems. So depending on what you are looking for, I think that this is a very good option when you have to show the render to your customer. Keep in mind though that these materials doesn't have any weight. So now that we have applied the metals and the gems for render, if you go back to the tech report, you will see that's showing no carrots and no grams. All right, and now from render also the animation. This is super cool. Uh, this is something that we use a lot. So the first thing that you need to do is just to select the geometry that you want to make the animation. Then you can select any of these presets. If I select this preset and apply, you can see that I have a curve. That is the curve that the camera will follow. If I do play, I will see like this. But because the curve is very close to the ring and the circle is very small, I don't fit the whole ring in the scene. What I have to do is just go here and make it bigger, up, and now I click on the red cross, click here again and select, because it was already selected, I already got it in this window. So again, let's try it and look at this. Now. It's totally different so the perspective that we have is different what would happen 
if I actually turn this circle something like this and again I add it here you will see that now it goes away and it goes close up right so you can play with this curve to create any kind of video of course that here you have a lot more of settings depending on how many passes the duration will be longer you can select the resolution that you want if you want to make it a bigger or in a, for a bigger screen you will have to go to at least full HD so here you have all the different options to create a beautiful animation alright so this is all for this video I think that these are tricks that are very very useful when it's time to show it to your customer so I hope you like it see you next time thanks for watching